In 10 hours, we start a new chapter with the Miami Hurricanes down in the Sun Bowl in El Paso, Texas. I've been looking forward to this game from the moment it was announced. And i got to say that any person out there who's thinking to themselves, oh, this game isn't relevant, Notre Dame is 7-5, Miami is 7-5, neither teams are ranked, and it's not the BCS. There's no relevancy here. Well, you're pretty stupid for thinking that. There is, this game is every bit relevant to the college football world. It's still Notre Dame and Miami. So, enough said there. Now, before I get to the preview of this game, I gotta say that uh, I read the to the Miami Herald. I read your little article there, uh, throwing every cheap shot in the book at us, especially with the the off-field uh, problems that we've had this year. Um, very classy on your part. Yeah, very very classy. But I shouldn't be surprised because I mean every media outlet in the nation has been covering both those stories and. You know, it's, I'm not surprised because this is a move that Miami would pull as it got closer to the game, to the game and so on and so forth. So, touche, uh, Miami Herald, touche. Very, very classy. Now, hopefully you picked up the sarcasm there. <laughs> anyway, on to the game itself. The Miami Hurricanes, offensively, they're a very solid team, uh, passing and running the ball very effectively. Uh, defensively, uh, they have a great, great pass defense. I believe number two in the nation, if I'm not mistaken. But I've noticed that they struggle defending the run. And that's where I think the key to the game is going to be for a Notre Dame victory, is we have to be able to run the ball on these guys. That will open up the pass for us. And, if, you know, we can, like I said, if we can just run the ball effectively, I like our chances of winning this game. Now, I understand... Um, that the Miami's quarterback, Morris, I believe his last name is, um, he's out with a sprained ankle, so they're going to be going back to Ja'Cory Harris. Now, I don't know too much about Ja'Cory Harris, other than the fact that he's a he's a, a very balanced quarterback, and last year he was in some involved in some Heisman talks. So, he's not a bad quarterback. I mean, his stats do show that. Um, but, um, you know, defensively and offensively, both sides of the ball, it is very important that we play mistake-free football. Because even though Miami is 7-5 and five, just like we are, they're still a good team. And they, if we make a mistake, they will make us pay for it. So, defensive backfield, do not get burned. Um, tackle the ball carrier. Offensive line, make your blocks. Receivers, run the appropriate routes. And Tommy Reeds, all I can say is just, I know you're young, but you know it's time to step up. Keep doing what you have been doing. I mean, I know this is all basic information, guys, but that's really all I can say is we have to play mistake-free football. Now, that's uh, that's really all I can say about this game. Uh, also, another key thing that is going to be very important that we shut down is Miami's receiving core. Now, I don't like to say many good things about Miami, but like them or hate them, you have to show respect. And... Miami has an outstanding receipt wide receiver core. Um, so basically what it all comes down to is what I said earlier. Mistake-free football. This win is going to be huge for us if we can get it. Because what better way to end the season with a win over Miami and getting all that momentum taken into, into next year. Um, now, I know that it takes a team to, to win a ball game, but... One thing I do like with Notre Dame's defense is Ian Williams coming back because, you know, he has always been a solid player for us, and that's one thing that we could use some more pressure on, on the quarterback. And, you know, Theo Riddick, it's going to be nice to have him back. Um, I don't know if he's, he may still be, uh, you know, struggling with the, the hamstring injury a little bit. I don't know. But um, it's going to be nice to have some extra speed out there. So, um I don't, like I said, it takes more than just two guys to win a game, but just having those two guys back is a big plus for us. So, with that, guys, that's really all I can say. Um, this is, you know, this is officially our last game of the 2010-2011 season. So, let's go Irish. Let's finish out strong. Let's get a win over the Hurricanes. We're coming for you. Every time this Notre Dame team has been knocked down this year, on the field, off the field, wherever, what have we done every single time? We get right back up and we keep on fighting. 
We don't quit. That's why they call us the Fighting Irish. So, we're coming for you, Canes, so you better be ready. Go Irish! Beat the Hurricanes!